Now, I'm going to show you what is required by Royal Malaysian Custom in the full text invoice. Go to Sales and open up your invoice. This is a very typical key in invoice screen in SQL account. You got your customer, your date, your invoice number, the salesperson, and of course the item. Do pay attention that some items require standard rated tax and other items do not require GST because it is zero rated. So you have mixed supplies situation in this particular full tax invoice. Therefore, when you do preview or print your invoices, you will number one, compulsory required to be have a GST company number. This is a unique number. Uh, similar to your company registration number or, or even a personal IC, it is only unique to your company. One company, one number. So this is compulsory to have in your full tax invoice. The second thing that is compulsory to have in your full tax invoice is the summary of the GST total amount. Over here, it's 16 ringgit and 20 cents. And finally, it is encouraged but not compulsory to have is the breakdown of the individual item GST amount. The reason you need a breakdown or at least encourage is because as you can see here some items are actually zero rated and therefore do not have tax. Other items will require tax. So it is uh, important information for a lot of customers to identify which item has GST and which item do not. Nevertheless, we encourage client to think clearly before they do any pre-printed uh, tax for invoice format. That is because in the past they may have not considered the GST uh, requirement. Now that they have GST, they will need to rethink in terms of what their printout should look like. And we encourage customer to use our default format because clearly this is a tax invoice that is approved by the customs.